Hi everyone. Today we're going to do a quick run through of the tokenizing process. Once you've been approved as an artist, you will see this little tokenize button pop up on your top bar. You click the tokenize button and the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have a swap hive balance. Here you can see that I have zero swap hive. I do, however, have hive in my wallet. So I will navigate to the wallet page, click deposit, add the amount I would like to deposit, confirm the transaction. And it takes about five to 10 seconds and it should deposit into your wallet and convert to Swap Hive immediately. Here we go. So we have Swap Hive now. Today we're going to tokenize a video. We accept MP4s. That's going to play in pretty much all browsers. And we do recommend that you use H.264 encoding. Uh, that's going to be the most compatible with every single browser. So the maximum size for a thumbnail is five megabytes. We are going to upload our thumbnail and you can see there's a little progress bar. And for the main image, you can upload max of 100 megabytes. So we are going to choose our full size file. This one is 92 megabytes, so it might take a moment to upload. So while that's happening, you can fill out the rest of the information. Now here we have a collection name. We have no collections created at the moment, so we're going to create a new one. And this is going to be called Video Tutorials. The title, NFT Showroom, How to Tokenize. These are all pretty self-explanatory. Year created, a description. I would recommend if you're gonna add an unlockable that you say what it is in your description so the buyer understands what they're getting. Rights. So we offer two rights. Private is like any other NFT. Uh, the person who buys it, who collects it, only has the right to display the token in their collection and resell it on the secondary market. So we are going to choose private. The other one is limited reproduction rights. Now, the artist always retains their copyright, but if you choose limited reproduction rights, that means that they can use it for commercial purposes, okay? So they can use it for merchandise, uh, they could use it on their website, uh, they could use it to create graphics for their business. Make sure you understand what you're choosing here. We recommend most artists use private unless they're specifically creating, you know, commercial style graphics. Uh, here you have your tags. For your tags, we recommend being as descriptive as possible because people can click on this search button and enter different terms and browse art via tags. So be descriptive about your style. Be descriptive about the method, be descriptive about the content, and that will give you the best chance of being found in search. Here we have the number of editions. We're just going to do one edition, but you can obviously make this any number of editions. You can see that I don't have enough for 50, so we're going to just do one. Uh, here we have a little not safe for work toggle. If your work is not not safe for work, don't click this toggle. If it is, please click the toggle. Uh, you can add a little note here, but please be aware that this is publicly viewable. Next, you're gonna need to agree to the TOS and that you are not infringing on any copyright. I understand that if I violate the TOS, I may be blacklisted. And very important, I will only tokenize this art once and only on NFT showroom. This means you cannot tokenize your art across multiple platforms, even if it's on different blockchains. And we're ready to go. Issue token. Please be aware that everything you upload on this tokenize page will be public in full resolution.
if you want to add a high resolution file for your buyer, you can add an unlockable. We'll talk about that in a moment. So once you click issue token, your keychain will pop up and you will have to confirm that transaction. So after you tokenize your art, you're going to want to head to your collection. Now here you go, you can see we have our token. Unlockables. Some people like to upload a higher res file for their buyer. Uh, that can be a very big printable quality. Uh, it could be additional goodies. It could be process. Uh, unlockables can really be anything you want them to be. So we have two options here. File. Here you can upload a file up to 100 megabytes. JPEG, PNG, GIF, MP4, or PDF. Just need to enter the file name and then choose your file and click save. That will add an unlockable to your token. We also have a text option that allows you to put a link to a self-hosted item. So if your file is too big or not one of the accepted formats, we recommend using the text option. Today we're not going to add an unlockable, but we're going to list this for sale. What you need to do here is click Manage, and that will send it to your cart. And once it's in your cart, you have three options, Burn, Sell, or Transfer. Burn will send your token to Null, meaning nobody can access that token. It's basically gone forever. You would use this option in the case that you perhaps made a mistake, or you want to delete your token for some other reason. Transfer. You can transfer it directly to another account. You would just click that button and enter their Hive username here. And today we're going to choose Sell. So here you enter the price in Swap Hive. We're going to make this token 50 Swap Hive and click Sell. And you confirm the transaction. successfully broadcast and it should now be in our gallery. It also will appear in the gallery of freshly tokenized art on the website. So that's about it for tokenizing. I hope that was a clear explanation of how everything works. I'll give you one last little tip. If you decide you want to remove your token from sale or change the price, all you have to do is click Manage, go back to your cart, and you can change the price or you can cancel the sale. If you cancel the sale, it goes back to your collection.